stage. You best not hate on Russ's big pants. <laughs> Don't hate yeah. on his pants. Cause it's so goddamn fancy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ridiculous. There was a boy, a very strange and innumerate boy. Though he traveled near and far, if given the opportunity to tell you what time two trains leaving at 60 miles an hour, both those positions would arrive at any given point, he would not be able to do it because he was numerically challenged. He was fundamentally, in the vernacular, crappy at figures. He was bad at math. It's a sad state of affairs. One day he was sitting at a table he was sitting at a table with a piece of paper with a scowl on his face. Just the most demonic, evil, angry scowl. <laughs> Let's break the host, shall we? And this scowl was caused by a sheet of paper with a set of figures that had a name so dark. I will only repeat it to you now a couple of times. Fractions! <laughs> Fractions! Yeah! Fractions! Yeah! And the boy, unlike you, did not get it at all. How could numbers be on top of other numbers? He was young. He could wrap his mind around imaginary numbers, but not numbers on top of numbers just yet. The boy had a little brother. We shall call him for purposes of exposition, the kid. The kid normally plays the role of wedgie test subject. The kid normally plays the science experiment of, is the bathwater too hot? Ah! Is this too spicy? And the kid did have a gift. And that gift was that he was pretty good with numbers. In fact, the reason why is he was a musician and he thought in math. And so he walks up to his brother, and the boy's sitting there scowling again. <laughs> and he sits down at the table, and he picks up an apple, and he cuts it in half and offers half of the apple to the boy. And he goes, go away, I, 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 I'm working on my math homework. Just go away. I have a test tomorrow I don't understand. The little kid says, do you want half my apple? He says, no, I don't want half your apple, says the boy. doesn't want it. I don't want half your apple. Kid sits there, cuts him in half again. Would you like a quarter of my apple? <laughs> no, I don't want a quarter of your apple, which is just half of your apple. Wait a minute. Go on. <laughs> so at this point, the kid cuts the quarters in half, giving us very kiss. Well, you tried. <laughs> and again, cuts it in half. Right, you are. And a banana came out, cut into fifths, and eventually we learned about tenths, which is close to another demonic sort of math making known as the decimal thing. And that's just, no, oh, don't, don't, don't worry. We won't go there now. Uh, we won't go there. But eventually other fruits came out. We learned about sixths and thirds and all of these things. And the kid pushed all the fruit back together. So what do we have? He goes, I know it's a trick question, said the boy. I saw you eat two halves of the apple. So we actually have four and a half pieces of fruit. And the kid looks, and the first time he ever won in his life, looks at him and says, no, jackass, we have fruit salad. Eat up. <laughs> so this is the 100% true story of how I learned about fractions from my little brother. Wow. <laughs> now... For the rest of my life, two things are true. One, I actually know my way around fractions pretty well. I know how numbers get on top of other numbers now. And I like fruit salad, I'm not gonna lie, it's a thing. And the reason why is there's a story attached to it. I mean, yeah, I live the story, but there's a story. And when you come to this show every single week, you're gonna see people come and tell you a story. They're gonna tell a story with their body and they're gonna move. They might sing you a story. They might play you a story. In fact, I might even go so far as to actually stand here and tell you a story about their lives. Sometimes the exciting thing about this show is just getting to hear the stories. And I hope you take a moment while you're being amazed by all the, the flash and circumstance of enjoying that.
And with that, I want to tell you one other story. Once upon a time, there was an idiot who stood on a stage. He stood in front of all of his friends and he said, I want to welcome you to the open stage. <laughs>